What's up guys? Hello. Welcome to this uh, brand new video on our channel. Uh, for the new ones, uh, we are uh, Jay and Alina. We are running this YouTube channel and also we are owners of uh, our own clothing brand called Less Silk. We'll talk about that a little bit later. By the way, guys, if you are interested how our brand looks like, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. Go and check it out. As you can see from a uh, name of a title, today we'll be talking about uh, launching your own clothing brand. And this is going to be based on our own experience, uh, starting our own clothing brand. I need to say we started our clothing brand in Bali. And this is what we will be focusing about. But uh, it doesn't really matter where you are starting a clothing brand. All these uh, principles uh, can be applied uh, anywhere in the world. Now to give you a bit more insights into uh, our previous experience, where do we come from? Mm -hmm. or, or even to give us a little bit more credit, why well, would we yeah. educate you on uh, how to start a clothing brand? Uh, we both uh, lived in Bali for more than a year and a half, mm -hmm. uh, where we traveled to from UK. Yeah, so we went to Bali to discover and see what are the options there like a business options what could we potentially maybe do over yeah, there that was part of the reason mm -hmm. and also uh, on the way uh, we traveled a bit of europe uh, and we started our youtube channel which went pretty well so we gained plenty of experience based on uh, youtube which is business itself yeah and one more thing we didn't mention in uk when we lived in uk we did run our own uh, multiple e-commerce businesses <laughs> one of them was a business for dogs clothing for for dogs and supplements for the dogs yeah and we learned a lot even back then we learned a lot we did also some drop shipping mm -hmm. uh, and we sold uh, plenty of supplements for the dogs yeah, as well, which yeah. was a lot of fun mm -hmm. we gained crazy amount of experience based on that so i guess that's the reason why we decided to share every single mm -hmm. bit of experience with you guys for free just because we are great <laughs> I think it's worth to mention our educational background. We both studied marketing, PR and uh, advertising. So we, I studied marketing yeah, and business. I, yeah, I studied uh, PR and advertising and media, which comes hand in hand with what we do right now. Important to mention, this is not uh, the rule. You don't have to no. have any kind of education. We just thought uh, we're gonna mention that. Mm -hmm. So in the past uh, few years, I guess we learned uh, quite a few tips and tricks and <laughs> skills. Yeah, and we gained lots of experience, as we mentioned before. And it was always our dream to have a high quality brand, yes. clothing brand. Yes. Especially for me, I was always dreaming about having something I can stand behind. We are owners of a clothing brand called La Silk, which yeah. is female luxury sleepwear and loungewear. Made in Bali and everything is manufactured from highest quality silk material. As Alina mentioned, it is made in Bali, so all our production was happening in Bali. Mm -hmm. All our packaging is made in Bali. Every single element of our brand is made in Bali. Photo shoots, all of that. Everything. But we do not operate our business from Bali. Everything is based in UK. So our warehouse is basically mm -hmm. in UK and our headquarters is yeah. in UK. Also our team. So manufacturing in Bali, but located in UK, which might be handy because most of the clothing businesses are running on the same basis. Uh, manufacturer is somewhere around Southeast Asia or anywhere else, maybe so, um, East of America. Europe, South America and so on. Before we started our brand, we were looking for information the same way as uh, you are probably looking for information right now, otherwise you wouldn't be watching <laughs> this video. Yeah, and actually we came across, uh, I would say, a little issue that we couldn't find any information. We could find very general about the business. Yeah. We could find about social media because there are many resources talking about that. But we had a struggle to find the appropriate and useful information about how to start a clothing brand. What are the steps, what to do, yeah. what not to do. So what we, we can yeah. promise you basically is we're going to talk about the details nobody else is talking. Mm. We will be talking about the do's and don'ts, the issues to look out for, what things to avoid, yeah. uh, what can happen in case of this or that. Mm. There is so many details, guys, where you can actually save money mm -hmm. if you know about them. And we wish we didn't do many mistakes if anyone would tell us about we will tell you about every single bit so basically when we arrived to bali we did a lot of uh youtube we did a lot <laughs> of filming we also did a lot of uh, villa tours if uh, any of you remember at the same time we were focusing on starting our clothing brand yeah. it was alina's uh, idea and what we needed to do is to first of all find uh, manufacturers find the fabric 
yeah uh, find the package in place that was the most challenging finding manufacturers to be honest we were thinking mm -hmm. how do we sort out shipping there are yeah. so many things you need to know about shipping and that's going to have a crazy impact on how much money will you spend mm -hmm. uh, many of you are at this point probably interested in the main question and that's how, how much? much does it all all <laughs> yeah. cost mm -hmm. we will talk about that as well to every single detail when we were looking for a manufacturer we probably went through more than 100 manufacturers a lot. Uh, in bali we visited every single one in person because remember we, when we were scheduling like three a five, four a day easily five visits yeah. even a day at but some point we think it's important to see where your goods are made if you can mm -hmm. to arrange the viewing of the factory make sure everything is done correct way mm -hmm. to see how does it look to see under what conditions workers work that, that is very important to us so how do they for example store the products as well. they make because mm -hmm. Southeast Asia is so famous for uh, better, or well known better. for uh, humidity mm -hmm. so if they don't store it sealed properly you're gonna have some moist over your clothing it can etc. damage your clothing in the long term mm -hmm. you want you might not know it at the manufacturing process mm -hmm. but in the process of shipping or etc you might come across uh, different damages yeah we can easily say we went through every single manufacturer in bali we know <laughs> all of them we know all local and we know all foreign owned because mm, there that's are important. many manufacturers which uh, look local but they are owned by australian owner or american mm -hmm. owner which that's reflects good. price yes and definitely quality of a service mm -hmm. but then price difference is pretty pretty yeah. significant to the point where you probably won't will not even believe uh, looking for a designer graphic designer mm -hmm. which was another journey itself for example uh graphic designers have got uh, fr graphic designers from uh, different countries Regions, has yeah. got very specific si significant uh, style for them yeah. so now we went through so many desi graphic designers <laughs> around the world we can easily only see the design and we can guess where is designer from for 90 percent Russia, Russia has got very specific style Russia Ukraine they have their Spain own Spain has got very specific Japan style. we, we know them all yeah feels like we know them all what's our favorite would you say uh, my favorite would be South Korea Japan yeah mm -hmm. Japan I like Japan and I like Ukraine mm -hmm. I like yeah. these regions they were very similar to our vision of our brand I was born in Ukraine <laughs> So this is very important as well to align your vision, to know what you want from graphic designer. For example, mm. we are in a pretty decent level of uh, creating design or de designing ourselves. We know all the platforms, we know where to... Free platforms. Yeah. Or with for little we charge. mention that as well. Guys, once we are talking about services, our favorite one is called Surfshark VPN, which means a virtual private network. If you are wondering what does that mean, in a simple words, whenever you are online, whenever you are on internet, uh, your data is leaking. Anyone can see where are you searching from. Uh, anyone can gain access to your personal details, which can be used for uh, hacking and so on. Surfshark VPN encrypts your data, hides your identity and overall protects you. The most important feature of a Surfshark Surfshark VPN is actually ability to change your geolocation which can be used for uh, either business purpose or even uh, pleasure or entertainment for example Netflix that's what we use it for mm -hmm. mostly whenever there are series uh, which are only available for uh, viewers from uh, US it's very simple to just simply s uh, turn on uh, Surfshark change your geolocation uh, and you can watch series of US Netflix or any other series around the world. It is also great for avoiding government restricted websites or content. So for example, people in China can now be watching this video on YouTube. Thanks to services like uh, Surfshark VPN, uh, anyone, literally anyone can uh, just go around these restrictions from any country and just access any website or any service they need to. And if you are traveling, you are looking for uh, flight tickets or train tickets or even accommodation. We all know uh, different viewers from different countries are presented different prices for the same accommodations in particular. So for example, difference between uh, US and UK sometimes can be absolutely crazy uh, by switching geolocation you can just uh, play with the prices uh, see what, what country does uh, get the best price and that can save you quite a bit of money so our friends at surfshark vpn hooked us up with a personal discount code guys i'm gonna leave a link in the description 
If you will use it, you will get up to 83% off and a free month for free. Because that can save you a lot of money, guys, because if you can make a logo for yourself uh, for almost for free within a half an hour, mm. there's no point to uh, pay designer, which will ask 500 euros, for example. Yeah. Uh, one example in Bali, we went to a marketing agency where we were considering um, using Balinese marketing agency just because we thought okay they are uh, it's a team of professionals mm -hmm. so they will definitely do better job than us and we thought it's going to be way cheaper than uh, Aff approaching more affordable, marketing yeah. agency from UK for example so we went to the office we sat down and we talked to them asked about packages asked about uh, what kind of packages do they offer they offered either just a logo or they offered full package so logo website design seo and so on and so forth mm -hmm. uh, and price it was surprising was shocking mm -hmm. surprised us we didn't least. expect it's not always the best way it's not always the cheapest way obviously it all depends on your budget and your ability to do these things yourself so mm -hmm. if you can learn something new on the go it it will help you in the future definitely i wanted to mention one more thing uh, that's a packaging which is super important mm -hmm. probably it's better for you to do a packaging uh, in the country where you do manufacturing taxes <laughs> yeah we will give you a few tips and tricks how to deal with the taxes as well uh, because there are systems and uh, info, import fees will have definitely or can have definitely significant impact. And you hug them. Uh, uh, hug. Yeah, I learned the whole tax uh, law of We Indonesia. had to learn Indonesian law. Can yeah, you believe it? Well, Jay did. To understand uh, what's the import tax mm -hmm. uh, working like, etc. What are HS codes, which are international codes for uh, products you are shipping from abroad. Well, there is so much information, so literally. Much, literally. We will reveal mm -hmm. every single bit of it again for free <laughs> yeah. just because we want to help you guys to run your or start your own clothing brand and avoid mistakes and save uh, a lot of money alongside and I, and I think it these tips we will share in um, the series. series of the videos mm -hmm. we will create I think they will be beneficial and useful not only for uh, people who want to start a clothing brand but for anyone who want to start small business exactly that's yeah? a very good point because mm -hmm. we don't only run clothing brand we also yeah. run a youtube channel where we need to use a lot of uh, different services software subscriptions we take a youtube channel as a business because it's a, it it's is. a separate business mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we will share quite a bit of uh, platforms uh, yeah. we are using what are the best platforms to run e-commerce uh, what are the best uh, payment options out there uh, shipping where to options. create an online store yeah to begin with but where you can look for graphic designers in yeah. what platforms there are so many how things how much do they cost what are yeah. the differences between them mm -hmm. what's the easiest way to find them etc yeah. and also uh, i didn't finish packaging uh, we will talk a lot about packaging so we'll talk about uh, differences uh, in yeah. different packaging labels yeah. uh, hanging tags uh, all thank boxes. you cards boxes what are the colors what are the difference between materials, uh, what can go wrong within a packaging, <laughs> etc. There are few limitations, in particular in Bali, in terms of colors. So, for example, if you will pay designer uh, upfront, he will design some colors and they won't be able to print in those colors. Mm. We will talk about all of that, guys. Yeah, how to avoid all these misunderstandings. As Alina mentioned, this is going to be a series of videos. It's easier for us to mm -hmm. create multiple videos and talk about each topic individually into the, into the detail rather than just create one uh, very uh, general, general video yeah. even if it was one hour we're not going to be able to give you detailed information we hope you are all as excited equally excited as we are because we really are yes <laughs> don't forget to follow us on instagram where we're going to give you uh, a lot of useful tips and tricks mm -hmm. from now on also don't forget to check our uh, clothing brand Les Silk yeah. again link is in the description if this video was useful so far you can also buy us a cup of coffee I'm gonna link <laughs> it over here yeah you can always write a comment about what you would like us to talk about and we will definitely talk about it all right guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we will see you soon in the next video yeah thank you bye, bye, -bye.